Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Ana Maria. I'm very happy to see you here. And I got a nice comment from one of you guys and you asked me how did I manage work and studying. And you know, it was really tough. I had to put a lot of effort to manage everything. But in this video, I want to share with you what I did to manage everything and what advice I'd give to myself. Yes, what I could have improved to manage work and study much better and much easier. There are many people who do not have financial support at all, or maybe just a tiny little bit of financial support from family, for example. If you guys have full financial support from your family, definitely give them a call and say thank you, because life is so much more difficult when you have to do everything on your own, when you don't have any kind of financial support. Like, believe me, it's really, really tough. If you have that financial support and you can just allow yourself to just study and not work or just work a little bit and that's it, your life is so much easier and so much more enjoyable. So definitely give uh, the person who sponsors you a call and say thank you. But if for people who have to do everything on their own, like me, I, have to, I had to work full time and study part time because I would not manage to pay for my food, I would not have enough money to pay for rent, to pay the bills, so I understood that part-time job will not really help me, so I needed a full-time job. And the solution was to study part-time because studying was very important for me and it is still very important for me. Cool, so what things did I have to manage or like even not me but us who work and study? So first of all we have to manage work, yes? It's not like we simply go to work and work and get the money and that's it. Yes, we have to constantly think, do I like this job or do I want to move to a different company? Maybe I need a, a, to progress, yes, to get a higher salary. So it's not like going to work. You have to constantly think how you can improve your job, how you can get a promotion, how to get more money, how to get more benefits. Yeah, so loads of loads of things that goes into work. It's not just the word work. Then studying, yes? The second thing that has to be managed. So it's very important to manage to go to college, yes, or to university, to do homework, to prepare for exams, to manage to get the books, to get the right outfits to go to the university. So it's a lot, a lot of effort that goes into that. Then we also have home duties, yes? Like we have to manage to do some cleaning, to to keep everything in order, to do some laundry, to cook some food. Um, so yeah, loads of things that goes into our house duties. Then we have to manage our expenses, like do the budgeting, make sure that we have enough money to, to pay the bills on time. Sometimes you need to pay something in cash, sometimes you need to pay something in card. And it's, it can be much more difficult, especially if we do not have direct debit from our card, or if we have direct debit from our card, we have to make sure that there is enough money on our card before the day the direct debit happens, yes, so loads of things that goes into budgeting, planning and expenses and managing those expenses. We also have to think about health and going to the gym, do some exercising, I don't know, maybe you like walking, so we have to have that more active lifestyle. We have to pay attention to our health and uh, to make sure that we give ourselves time, yes, we invest some time in ourselves. Then of course there is the social life, of course we want to make sure to text and uh, call and meet with some friends and family. There are some routine tasks, yes, like for example sometimes we need to go to the bank or we need to make a document and we need to find out how to make the document, what you need to gather to get the document to apply, to come back and collect the document and stuff like that. And also we have some hobbies, like for example some YouTube videos, some Instagram, maybe somebody has a great Instagram profile and they want to earn money from it, some people like hiking, some people love gaming, so there are loads of things that we have to manage. And of course there are some extras, yes, like for example we have to plan a holiday, maybe something is wrong with our health and we need to plan a doctor appointment, we need to do our nails and stuff like this, yes? So all these things, they have to be managed within a week. And then everything repeats the following week, the following week, the next month, the following month, and the following year. So it's a lot of effort 
that goes into managing absolutely everything. So what helped me to manage all those things? First of all, that was prioritizing. So I had to make sure that I understand what's the most important thing for myself. The most important was studying and working, then it was health and hobby, then it was home duties and expenses, social life and some extras, yes? So I had to manage to do my most important priorities, studying and working. If I do not manage to do the things that are below, then that's fine, I will manage them a bit later, but the most important are my main priorities. Studying, working, health and hobby, they would be very important, so I would have to find time and energy to allocate towards all these things within my week. The second thing that helped me was planning. And I know that many of you might find planning very boring and I know that many people don't use diaries, don't use calendars, and I totally understand why it can be boring to do that planning, but if you want to manage things, like if I wanted to manage everything, I had to plan. I had to have a monthly, weekly, daily planner. So I still do my weekly planner and daily planner and monthly planner, yes, I like having like a visual representation of my week. Like for example, I know what I have to do every single day of the week, I know how much time I need to allocate, I know what I need to prepare for doing something. Like for example, doing this video. It's not like I just woke up, I was like, hmm, let me film a video about something. No, it's not how it happened. So last week I saw the comment and I decided that this is a very good video topic, so I had to make some notes about this topic. Then yesterday I had to write the script of this video. I had to make sure that I wash my hair and I arrange my hair, yes, that I go to bed on time, so I wake up in a good mood, I have loads of energy to film this video. Then today I had to make sure that I go through my script again, I do my makeup, my hair, everything looks good, I'm in a good mood, I had a lovely beautiful day, I prepared the microphone, the tripod, I'm filming in good quality, I'm not filming too late because I need some good lighting and stuff like this. So you see, like even filming this video, do you see how much effort go went into filming this video? a lot of effort, a lot of preparation. So because I had a visual representation and I knew what I'm, gonna, what I'm going to do every single day, I was able to prepare and make this happen. Point number three was discipline. So I literally had to push myself and the way I used to explain that was applying moral violence towards myself. It does not sound good, it does not sound ideal, but if I was not to apply violence, if I was not to be morally, mentally violent towards myself, I would not be able to do anything, honestly. You know, when you are tired, yes, when you work for eight hours, when you studied for four hours, when you feel hungry, when you feel tired, when you have a headache, when you, st you don't feel really well, like your stomach doesn't feel really well, when you have some pain, when you understand that you have to do so many things, it's really hard to do something, you know? So in that situation, I had to apply moral violence, I had to mentally slap myself and make myself go and do that. It was very difficult, it was very tough, I felt like there was not enough love towards myself, but to be honest, that was the thing that helped me going, violence towards myself. Um, that was not physical, that was mental, but yeah, if I was not to do that, I would definitely not be able to achieve everything. Another thing in terms of discipline was food prep, so I had to make sure that every Sunday I plan what I'm gonna eat the following week, I'm doing shopping, I'm preparing wet food, I wash everything, I clean everything, and I have food for the following week. Also, understanding that I'm not gonna manage everything was very important. It's okay if we don't manage everything, that's all, that's all good, we will do it next week, or maybe we're just not gonna do it. That's absolutely fine. And point number five is keeping in mind my goals. I had to constantly think where I want to go, why am I doing what I'm doing, and that really kept me going. Now, what advice would I give to myself? Like, what could I have done to 
make my life even easier and to manage everything even better. So first of all, this is buy prep food. I wish I bought prep food because it would save me a lot of time, a lot of energy. Maybe it was a bit more expensive than shopping myself, but I'm sure that I would have more energy to study or to allocate my time towards something more important. So I decided for myself that even now when I'm not studying, when I'm just working, but I have some peak times, yes, like some very busy times, then I would still buy prepared food. There are people, there are different companies who make healthy food and they deliver that food to my home and I would be very happy to use their services even though they are a bit more expensive. And what I would also suggest myself is to relax a bit more because I have noticed that when I relax, when I give myself a day or a few hours of staying in bed, just going for some walk, taking a nice bath, I have much more energy after that. I feel much better, I have much more enthusiasm, I have much more ideas. So yeah, relaxing is important. And the last point, the third point that I would tell myself is to remember about living. Very often when we have to do so many things, we can forget about living and I would definitely pay a bit more attention to my social life. Like I would call my friends more often, I would put some effort to meet my friends a little bit more often, you know, I would put some effort to go to an extra holiday. I used to think that, oh my god, those people, my company will not survive if I go on a week holiday. No, there are loads of smart, intelligent, great people in your company and the company is going to survive easily if you go on a five-day holiday. No one is going to die. There are loads of smart people. They know what to do. They can cover you with one or two reports. This is not a problem, you know, so it's okay to organize an extra holiday, you know. It's not a big problem. I used to be afraid to ask for those holidays, but now I understand that no, life is more important. I have to take my some time off to bring myself into the right mindset and then I'll have much more energy to work. And of course, I would focus more on socializing. You know, instead of having maybe 95% at my exams, I would have 85% at my exams, but I would socialize much more, build a great network because marks like, okay, I have some good marks. I have the first class honors degree and that first class honors degree is doing nothing to me. What has an impact in my life is my network, people I know, my friends, people who are around me. And that is much, much, much more important than that first class honors degree, honestly. So I would give up a little bit on marks and focus a bit more on networking and socializing with people. Cool guys, I hope that was interesting for you. Maybe I helped you a little bit. If you have any more ideas, any more advice, anything else that helped you to go through, um, you know, through some tough, busy periods of your life, please let us know in the comments. We all would be very curious to read. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Make sure to give it a like, to subscribe to my channel and check all the links in the description. There are loads of interesting things like my Instagram, my Telegram channel, different kinds of codes, discount codes that might be very interesting for you. And I will see you in the next video.